Hello students, today I am going to explain you the poem. The name of the poem is Chivi by Michael Rosen. Objectives of this poem are to make you to know about instructions given by elders and to make you to appreciate and enjoy the poem. Before starting the explanation, you must know what is the meaning of the word chivi. Chivi means giving pressure to someone to do the work in an annoying way, showing anger. That is called chivi. The meaning of chivi is to neg, means to criticize, by which somebody, someone gets irritated. This poem deals with the feelings of poet and other kids who feel irritated by their elders. Grown-ups usually instruct their child but on other hand they feel that the child should make up their own mind. Make up their own mind meaning they must take their own decisions. Adults usually speak things like don't stare, don't point, don't drag your feet etc. Before starting the explanation, here is vocabulary list for you. The first word is stare. Don't stare at your elders. The students stared at the teacher with amazement. Stare meaning to have a long look. Drag means to pull. Drag the cart with full strength. He dragged the, he dragged the big suitcase behind him. Straight. Straight meaning to speak directly. Your answers should be straight and to the point. Her naturally straight hair hung long and silky. Interrupt meaning to just disturb. It's not good manners to interrupt while two persons are talking. We interrupt the program for the following messages. Here is the summary of the poem. The poem Chivi has been composed by the poet Michael Rosen. The present poem deals with the feelings of the poet like other small kids who feel irritated by their elders who always instruct them to do or not to do. The grown-ups always say things like speak up, don't stare, don't point, don't pick your nose, sit up. Say please, less noise, etc. The poet leaves a question to elders. Why can't they keep their suggestions to themselves? Here are short questions for you. Why are the instructions given so that they may learn good manners? Who have the habit of always instructing the child? The grown-ups are having the habit of always instructing the child. How far are the instructions liked by the children? They are not liked by most children. Do you have a hanky? Yes. Is it good manners to keep your hand inside the pocket? No. Do you think the adults should stop instructing the children? No, the adults must instruct the children, but they should do so in a pleasing way. Here are the answers of the textbook questions. Please do in your fair notebook. I am just reading the poem for you and its explanation once again. Just pay attention. Grown-ups say things like, speak up, don't talk with your mouth full, don't stare, don't point, don't pick your nose, sit up, say please, less noise. Shut the door behind you. Don't drag your feet. Haven't you got a hanky? Take your hands out of your pockets. Pull your shocks up. Stand up straight. Say thank you. Don't interrupt. No one thinks you are funny. Take your elbows off the table. Can't you make your own mind up? about anything 
the word chivi means urging someone continuously to do something grown ups usually have the habit of asking the children what to do or what not to do in order to teach them good manners they would tell the child to speak up not to talk while eating something not to look fixedly at anybody not to point not to pick or clean the nose most children don't like such instructions grown ups also teach the young ones to say please to keep quiet to shut the door behind them keep a hanky not to drag feet and take their hands out of their pockets they shout at the children to pull their shock socks up to stand straight to say thank you not to cut in and not to rest their elbows on the table they try to teach manners and rules of a cultured life cultured life they also expect the children to think independently and behave nicely i hope students you have understood the poem i request all my students to read the poem again and again for better understanding and please make few points what you want from the elders thanks for patience listening